Indian industry of 28 billion dollars export and our target is to make it 50 billion dollars. Independent research shows that in the long term, better working conditions do not increase cost. The purchasing process must become much more of a dialogue, a sustainable sourcing dialogue. You are quite aware that there was an unprecedented uh, collapse in Rana Plaza in the year 2013. After that incident, our national initiative alliance inspected 3,700 factories, of which only 39 factories were vulnerable. With this conference, we would like to provide a platform to enable buyers and suppliers to have a longer-term relationship so that it will be better for sustainability, it will be better for working conditions, and ultimately will lead to more profit for the garment industry. We are trying to set up a factory which is uh, more environment friendly and energy efficient. So I believe uh, Bangladesh uh, RMD sector will be more sustainable in coming days. Well, it's very challenging. The industry is going into a new era. And as you see today, uh, everybody is spot on on the topics, actually. Well, I think uh, there are a lot of good discussions, positive discussions being taken from today onwards. We've seen over the past years that in the Bangladeshi garment industry many improvements have been made, but we've also seen that the prices that they have gotten from the buyers have not gone up. Now, in the end, of course, that is unsustainable. We need to have more transparency in all of the value chain. Are the workers being paid a decent pay? So this was what today was about, and it was very timely that we discussed this. Some of the most important people in the industry in Bangladesh here to discuss the sustainability issues that they're talking about and I think that it will prove helpful to the industry in advancing you know, responsibility in the supply chain and sustainability in the supply chain. Well it's great, I mean it's a great initiative of course, I mean the sustainability is the key now, it's not a trend, it's a commitment. Commitment is the most important uh, element for sustainable sourcing and uh, as well as a long-term relationship, trust, mutual understanding, belief on each other. Those are the most important elements of sustainable sourcing. What are the real effects we can have on the consumer side by working together much more closely instead of just focusing on cost and trying to get one or two percentage point out of a production cost? If, for example, you said to me a worker in Ethiopia costs $60 a month and a worker in Bangladesh costs $70 a month, that's cheaper. But how many established apparel factories are there in Ethiopia? Not like there is in Bangladesh. Yes, I would not be here if I did not believe in Bangladesh as a market for the future and H&M has been part of, of the growth in the past and Bangladesh is certainly part of our success. I think today um, we've been able to discuss openly issues in a very competitive environment. So for producers and buyers to put all their cards on the table is of course is difficult because everyone is also competing with everyone. But the sector can only improve and continue along this path of sustainability if we have that dialogue. And I think we also should look at more efficient production processes because that's important. I would also like to emphasize more transparency in the process from both sides. Thank you.